Are you tired of being held back by a limited power source? Are you ready to take your gaming experience to the next level? Today we try unlocking the full potential of your Nintendo Switch. Wireless charging. Say goodbye to cords and hello to unlimited power. Hi guys, Marcus here. So, here. A switch console, a wireless charger, and we want that this here makes a boom. Gives us power. Obviously, that's not the case yet. So to do this, I got one of these little modules. It claims that it's a 10 watt module and it outputs 9 volt. I think that's fine that we are not using 5 volts because it is fast charging already with USB-C, so it shouldn't be an issue to get the 9V into it. But you can get those modules in different varieties. Let me show you what is happening. So this module here, we put it here and let's measure. So we do have 9.1V. Perfect. So that means it is working, so at least this thing will give us power. Now the question is how to get this hidden inside our switch console. So let's crack this baby open. So those four screws needs to get open. And here we have a Phillips screw. And we need to remove the middle ones when I remember correctly. And remove your micro SD card if you have one in. There is another hidden screw, this little one here. And here is an M. But for what? For Mario? This is me, the Mario. I'm speaking the English. Okay, and here we do have our console. You see, I replaced the battery. Well, I needed to replace the battery, but there is nothing modded right now. I think we should measure where we can get, oh, what would be the best way to connect those leads. So that's not a power delivery charger we're now connected to, so we think we will see 5 volts. So I just connected it to my power bank here, and I plug it in like this. Get out my multimeter. So let's measure. So we measure in DC, put it on ground here, the black probe. And let's see what we have. Here we have 5 volts. So that would be a way to connect it, theoretically. But maybe we do find something better. For example, this pad here. It's relatively big. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So we do have a pad where we would like to connect it. Now we need, yeah, a common ground. So I will disconnect the battery. The meter in continuity mode. Okay, that's also ground. And here's the ground. Yeah, I mean, why not? So we do have here a ground. And here we do have our plus 5 volt or 9 volt later with our wireless charger. I would say I will try to connect this one here with those points. And okay, let's try to remove the sticker. Putting, of course, flux. Hmm. It's hard to get solder on there. I'm not so sure why, and I'm not 100% sure if it's a good idea to put it here, but... Or to put the lead there. Yeah, well, it looks good. So, let me try to position it. Yeah, I think those leads are too small. I will replace them. So let's see, the above side here is plus, and the second one is ground. So what I'm laying around is from, yeah, some ribbon cables that looks perfect to me. So what I will try to use is the grayish one for ground, 
and the violet one for power. Okay, let's measure if it's still working. So let's put it here. We should see nine volts. Brilliant. So that works. Looks. But you know what? Instead of soldering it here, I think I will put it here. I think that's a much better connection. But we do need more heat for this here. Of course, it's unleaded. So what we have just forgot, or me, flux. Always use flux. I will go up with my iron temperature. Yep, and perfect. Connect this one here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so with this one already in place. Yeah, I think that's good. Meter in continuity mode and short check if we bridge something. That's okay, it's the same track. Looks good. So, turned on the console, experimental setup. Not to rip something. See, battery not charging. Let's put it on. I'm able to charge. At this point, I was stuck. I obtained a wireless charging receiver with a USB C plug, but its requirement for a permanent plug in made it unsuitable for our needs. Upon conducting more research, I discovered that the switch needs USB C communication for charging, rather than just voltage. Nonetheless, I am determined to find a solution that combines both cable and wireless charging methods, and therefore, let's try to modify the wireless charging receiver to achieve a hybrid charging solution. Okay guys, it's exactly two days later because I bought this here and the reason that it's two days later is that the first time I ordered it, it was a lightning adapter. So I need to refund it and get again the Type-C version. Yeah, yeah, I'm an idiot. You are such an idiot. So on this basically is the same as that, but I think there is the needed connection, so I think there is one more chip on to handle the yeah the data signals to tell the uh, to tell the switch to charge or to accept the charge. So the idea is to open this here up. But first, of course, we will check if it's working without dismantling it. Let's do that. The idea is you would plug it here and boom. That's it. Now, when we turn it on, well, let me wake it up. See, not charging. When we place it here, boom, charging. That's the proof that this works. So let's see if we can dismantle this without destroying it. Yeah, I think it's just glued down. Okay, perfect. Just trying to be careful. Don't want to waste another day. Yeah, and that is the board. I think it's good. And we don't need to disassemble it further 
call that still sticky, so it would perfectly fit in here. And you see this black mat, that's the same as with the other module. That's some kind of magnetic field or magnetic shield that will bounce back the induction and yeah, make the connection stable. Okay, so unfortunately we do need to remove it, at least for the solar job. So ground positive CC. Okay, so some flux here. So ground, V out and CC. I think that should be it. I just got dust removal tools for camera lenses and stuff and yeah, I just want to try it out if it's cleaning flux. Maybe better as the cotton swamp because I don't like those hairs. Mm -hmm. Not first glance. That would look much cleaner. So maybe it's not a good idea to solder <laughs> on our wireless charger. So let me remove this. So I think we will this time use different cable. We will use those silicon wires here. Black for ground, red for yeah, for positive, will I be out? And let's go yellow with CC. I think that's a good idea. So I cleaned the mess from two days ago, at least as good as I can, and let's redo the job. So again, this here, again all ground with the with the outer shell of the port, and one of these points we will use for the CC connection, the yellow cable. First, V plus. And let's go with the with this pad here. Not sure if it's CC1 or CC2. Or we'll bring it up on the screen. Yeah, and here's some more solar. Perfect. So, V out goes here. Perfect. Ground goes here. So, and CC goes here. Yeah, nice. That looks good. Okay, now let's test that. So, charging mat, power bank, console. See, it's not charging. Let's place it and Boom! It's working! Yeah, nice! Very good news. So I'm not sure if anyone could figure out how yet yeah, to connect this one with the data line CC that it would also work. So drop me a comment if you know it. I think that would help many people. So connect it. See if I can. Whoa! Okay, I mean the console isn't that discharged. Yeah, it's nearly full. I think that's why we see a lower charging rate. Okay, yeah, let's put it back together. Where could we put the cable? I think I would love to get them out here. So yeah, that's, that's good. To secure our wires in place, I cleaned the area around them and applied solar mask to the joints. I then cured the mask using my UV lamp. Now we connect the battery first. Yeah, this works. Okay. What I also got is this sexy green tape. I'm not sure if it's the same as Captain Tape, but I will try to put it over over the wires to secure them. So how about something like this here? Let's renew the thermal paste. The perfect amount of thermal paste. 
So we haven't removed anything here. So that should be all fine. Okay, so let me try to get this cover back on. And be gentle not to squash any wires here. Now we needed a place to put the wireless charging receiver inside the case. Due to space constraints I had to shorten the wires and dismantle it further. During this process I accidentally ripped the original magnetic shield from the module and had to use the one from our first module. In the end I managed to find a spot where it fit while keeping it centered as much as possible. Yeah, I think this is a little bit trial and error process to position it right. And the main purpose of the tape, for me at least, is that we don't want to short something out. So, okay. Yeah, I think that's not that bad. Let's see. First, remove the SD card. Let's see here. Okay, that looks so far good. I think it's a little, 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 little bit bulged. But I hope that's not an issue. So let's see. Charging. Charger. <laughs> Place it. And boom. It is charging. Brilliant. So, but now I think there could be a major problem. When we fast charge, via USB-C, there could be, I think, with the dock, 15 volts. So that's three times the 5 volt our wireless charger is giving us. And remember, the connections are directly, so it's getting the 15 volts to this module. Blocking the mentioned 15 volt could be done with a die, but connecting only V-out, ground and CC wouldn't allow the wireless charging circuit to reach its full potential. Testing revealed that we needed to connect the D-plus and D-minus lines, but doing so would permanently block other USB-C peripherals like gaming via the dock in your living room. That's unacceptable. Resoldering the original USB-C plug and leaving our wires in place allowed me to switch both charging setups quickly, and I found that connecting the data lines provided more power than our 3-wire solution. With our current setup, the console consumes more power than it receives while charging. The Nintendo Switch is an excellent gaming companion, but wireless charging presents several challenges that I'm not sure can be easily overcome. If you have any ideas or suggestions to help me solve this problem, please leave a comment below. With your help, I may be able to revisit this topic and find a solution. If you would like me to explore wireless charging on a different gaming console, let me know. In case you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Your support will help me grow this channel. Have a heart for broken devices and give them a second chance. Stay healthy and see you soon. Bye.